Hello all, this is Dreekai for Dreekai Gaming. Welcome to a brand new series. We're going to be playing as Galapo, Paragya, or Zango of Juj, of Guj. Um, I've never played in this region before. I once played a multiplayer match with some friends down in India, but that was before Jade Dragon. I thought it would be fun to play in this area. We're also going to be playing as a Bon. Um, uh, maybe, uh, you know, reform the faith. The only things we are going to be doing, we're trying to play tall. We will, the max we're going to do is form the Empire of Tibet. We're not going to go outside of it except to grab a, um, possibly a holy, um, holy site. Because I believe, uh, we need three. We have two inside of regular Tibet. And we'll grab one other one um, outside, but that's the only time we're going to be going outside of it. We're just going to try and strengthen Tibet, uh, play as a ball and have fun. I will be playing with three different mods uh, this time, and I will have links to them in the description. One of them is one of my favorites. Um, it's uh, Cultural Bonuses by Mal. It's a great mod. Uh, it adds all these uh, little things here uh, to your culture that everyone has different ones um, you see uh, there's different ones for each culture and uh, I like it a lot another one we're going to be doing is um, improved genetics it's one that I just learned about it looks cool it uses actual um, ways so that instead of uh, you know you marry two geniuses together if they don't produce an error they still have a chance that the air that the whatever genetic is in there isn't lost it stays in it can be a recessive or a um, non recessive that I can't think of the word of gene so that it's always in the family and it can pop up depending on the combination that you have I thought that sounded cool the other one we're doing is rich childhood um, mostly because the last few games that I have played I um, seem to always end up as a uh, child ruler, and Rich Childhood adds like 52 new events to really shape your childhood. We're going to try to play a lot um, of this game in uh, a role-play manner, um, much more than I usually do. Uh, we're going to try to play by the stats. Um, like I said, our only other goal is to form Tibet and, you know reform the bond faith but we'll see how that goes i don't really know much about the bond faith um i don't really know much about this region at all so it should be interesting and fun um so let's get started uh let's see here We're gonna have dynamic epidemics that sounds good to me minor is default we'll have a historic mongol invasion that's something we can prepare for um yeah, we'll have random uh, Aztec invasion because we don't care because that's on the other side of the world. Uh, we will generate families only for the AI. Uh, I, I prefer that um, to um, having, uh, you know, so that we can marry people if we want. Um, but it gives more characters into the game. Limited. Uh, Exclave independence limited. Okay, Chinese invasion is cool. Within range. All right. Default, 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 historic, shadow retreat is on, army movement locked, um, that's packs, alright, sounds good, I think everything else in here will be, uh, be good, we'll, uh, we'll see how this goes, we are starting as a king, something I usually don't do. But I wanted to play a Bon in Tibet, and you're either this or you're a tribal, and I didn't want to start as a tribal. So, the Bon culture. We can raid infidels for loot. We are monastic uh, feudal government. It's like an ordinary feudal, except that uh, we can hold... Uh, um, we can hold uh, temples as well as castles so that's cool and we get a special thing the Goompa monastery building and castle holdings 
Um, let's see here, Bon is an ancient uh, indigenous pre-Buddhist religion of Tibet. It is shamanistic and animalistic in nature. Multiple deities after the introduction of Buddhism to Tibet, Bon adopted many of its elements. Rulers cannot demand conversion. All right. Rulers allow women to own temple holdings. Okay, we can raid infidel neighbors for loot. We are hard to convert. We can take three concubines. Women can take three consorts. Non-pagans with low tech have a very low supply limit in our countries. We can be reformed. There is and can, this, and can exist no religious head. Women can hold spy master positions. Rulers may select a lesser deity to honor. Inferior at conversion. Rulers cannot declare holy wars. Okay. And let's see here. Um, this is us. Uh, this is our guy right here. We do have a son. Uh, we have a half-brother who it looks like controls this area. You, you sang. Um, we have a claim on the Empire of Tibet. We are gluttonous, so we like food a lot. We are zealous in our beliefs of Bon. We're a craven, okay. Uh, we're wrath, so we have a hot temper. We are the child of a concubine, and we are a charismatic negotiator. Alright, we do have a bloodline here. Let's see. Blood of Songsen Gampu. Uh, monthly prestige, Bon opinion. It enables sky burials and increased cultural conversion speed to Bon from Zhangju and Sumpa. Alright. That's interesting. Uh, how do we want to go here? Um, really want to just build ourselves up before taking over. Uh, let's see here. Tibet, Tibet is all of this area here, so it's not bad. Uh, Religion-wise, as Bon. Okay, I believe this is part of the du jour of Tibet. So yeah, we don't even have to go outside of the regular Tibet uh, to reform Bon, which is pretty cool. Because uh, I just want to do this. We've got the Western Protectorate up here. We're going to have a lot of um, things going on with uh, the Chinese Emperor. Uh, they're in a civil war right now. Looks like we need to get married. Um, I'm going to go and try to find someone of our religion first. Marry our spy master. Our traits aren't bad. Yeah, we'll do that. We lose some uh, prestige um, by doing that, but that's okay. I think she's one of our vassal. Yeah, she's our most powerful vassal, and if she's our wife. That's that's okay. Brusha Yum of so Yum Brusha, uh, you know, the the names are switched from the Western. So we are actually poor Galil. Um, uh, let's see here. We need to do something. We've got too much land right now, uh, and because of that, I think we're going to start with business focus. Um, we're going to probably have to give out some land, maybe to our son here. Pal Corsten. He's 21. He's our heir. Um, I think we'll build a war chest first off. Uh, let's see here. Uh, don't have anything on the Silk Road right now except for here, which we own. We might change this to our um, capital. Uh, it looks a little bit of a better um, place, and it has a Silk Road. Um, trade posts that I'd like to build right away so I think we will we'll, um, we'll change this to our capital make it our crown focus it has more holdings as well than the old one and it's a richer territory this one uh, yeah um, Silk Road brings in a lot more things so that'll help us out more um, it's a uh, yeah, so that'll be our border, or that'll be our capital. 
Um, we can create two titles, but right now we can't. We, uh, cause I don't think we have enough money. We need a designator regent. Uh, this guy will be fine. I like to grab regents with high, uh, stewardship. Um, if you've watched my, uh, Let's Plays before, you know that. Uh, we need a court physician. This guy is a 22, so that sounds good on there. Um, we could search for Smith. No. No, um, or <coughs> it's too big. We could give, uh, some land to our son. Um... But right now, I kind of, I kind of want to wait on that. Yeah. See, I'd like to create this duchy and then give it to him. Um, but we need some more. Uh, so maybe we'll just give him this, uh, this land down here. Our son. But we'll see how that goes. How much we have to give away once we're actually married. So, all right. Turn this up. Speed three. We've gotten married. People like, uh, we could get wealth or prestige. Prestige would get us back in, but that's a lot of gold. I think we'll take the gold for now. Uh, she is 25 to our 35. She's a powerful vassal in our realm. And okay, now we just need to get rid of two lands. So we'll give our son, um, we're going to give him Le. And we will give him... Oh, we can't give him any more than just lay. Ooh, okay. Well, we'll be over one right now. Um, that's okay. Uh, let's see. We could join the Sentinels of Light. That's our... Uh, it's a... Um, oh, it's like a... It's a warrior lodge. For the Bond religion. It's the only society, so we'll do that. Uh, we need our heir to get married. Um, once again, we're going to look at people in our religion. She controls over here. We could possibly just get that into our realm by having our son marry her. She's tribal. Yeah, we'll do that. And we might not even have to conquer that. Mayor Mangpoj of... Holing and the Sentinels of Light have chosen Ladaki Hakalor Batson as my opponent. The Stutch man eyes me up and down when we are introduced. Fresh meat, eh? He offers mockingly before shoving an elbow, elbow into my side, making everyone laugh. A demonstration duel, huh? Alright, let's do that. Uh, no, I can still fight. I see dropping to my knees, sensing my own lie, even though Ladaki Hakalor Batson has clearly injured my... His leg, he has been proclaimed the winner. Sighing, I ponder my own worst injury. I have a feeling it is not going to leave any lasting means. Okay, we're wounded. We get a black eye. Uh, our dual experience increases. Um, let's see, anything different? Oh, toughness. That's uh, something I've never seen before. Right-clicking on to rid yourself of a physical injury. That's cool. I need to give some land away. Uh, to the Honorable Galapo Porjala or Sung of Guj, during your initiation, your display of bravery and good attitude impressed us all. We would gladly invite you into our ranks. Sign Major Mangpol of Tholing. Finally, okay. Since the duel, I've been practicing this a bit with Langte. Halakor Batson, the man did best me and I was quick to ask for any pointers. He seemed surprised at first, but today I'm proud to tell him that he's a good teacher. And friend I had, there's no one shame in acknowledging a worthy opponent. Alright, we get a budding friendship with him. Honey, 
interactions we can do. We could send a commander uh, to the Chinese Emperor for 120 grace because they are in a civil war. Let's do that. Give us some grace. We want to build up some grace so that we can get some of these things. Like a trade contract would be great. Um, peace deal. That would be good as well. Alright, we got Scarred. Okay. Need a new commander, because we sent one of ours away. Oh, this guy's a courtier, he'll become our commander, because we might send him away as well. The Heavenly Li Wei, Li Wen, Emperor Zalian of the Tang Dynasty has graciously accepted your gift. We will try to make use of the tribute you sent us, the generosity of the Punjan Dynasty. Or Gyal. Jal Dynasty will not be forgiven. I'm glad my tribute is deemed decent, alright? Still building that. Anything we can build in here? Nope. Conquest, but I don't think we're ready yet. I mean, we've got a large troop uh, thing. We still need to give away one of these things. Um, our son, he wants to be on the council. Is he good at anything? Stewardship. How is this steward? Uh, he's pretty much a little bit better, but I'd rather have our son there. Collect taxes in here. We're going to train some troops. Need to study some technology. I study tech up here. Um, anything else we can do? Not really. All right. A group of craftsmen has come to your court and shown off their work. They present you with fine goods of which you are sure would there would be demand for in the realm. Noticing your interest, the, cra the craftsmen ask for some capital startup workshop, saying they lack the fun. Well, we'll say it's a sound investment. We'll use 50 gold. Sometimes that can really come back and help us out a lot. Can you do that? Our son wants to um, invite us carousing. We'll do that. See if we can give our son any more land. Dynasty is pretty large.
I think we're gonna declare war. Do a conquest war there. It's one of our holy sites. If we can grab it right off the bat, that would be good. The faster we can reform, the, the better, I, I feel. I have arrived at the private rooms of Prince Pugial Helkorsten. There is plenty of food and drink here, and the mood is decisively married. I am looking forward to this. Alright, we get carousing. And we become best friends with our son. Ooh, a small kitty is demanding my attention. Allow the kitty to follow us home. Yeah, that'll give us intrigue and health. That's great. Browsing is over, now get back to real life. Well, it was fun. Got some prestige. defeated that army uh, we'll try to uh, siege this down fast take this over this is a uh, Zoa Astrian. Wonder if this guy would accept vassalization. Oh, he would. So we'll do that. And he has pretty good skills. Um, uh, she has to stay there, but uh, what else was he good at? It's okay at that one. Not as good, but he's an important vassal. So we'll do that. We're also going to try to sway him. We need to give out some land. Defensive pack opposing our pad. Alamos has disbanded. Ah, uh, Hungary is fat and settled in Hungary. Okay, we Hungary exists now. Down here. But that's that's way far away from us, so we don't really mind, uh, mind that much. My wife, Yum, is pregnant. Oh, she is a uh, seduction focus. Huh. I mean, she'll probably cheat on us. Because of the severe winter, we are having some attrition going on. Sure. Um, 
Bekehu Sundi, a preacher in the service of Raja Mandevi IV of Nepal, has arrived in Puyang to Puyang to spread the gospel of their foreign religion. He has little regard for our old faith, declaring it sinful, and he has explained in detail. Well, they're a horse. Who is this guy? Yeah, they're Buddhist. They're down. Down there. Our horrors in this life as well. We're gonna imprison them because we're staying born. Oh, and we won this war, so. Take that. Uh, it has come to our attention that you are skewing your duties as a member of the Sentinel Light. Of, as of recently, there is much a man can learn by tracking down game in the wilderness. Show me your best trophies. They want us to switch to a hunting focus. Okay. We can do that. Um, the other thing we're going to do... Uh, we took that over. We need to give some land out. And... Um, our commanders... Yeah... We'll give you some land. Give you, uh... There. So I need to give out one more. Um... Alright. And we'll give you... How you're going. Sounds good. We're going to create this title, this duchy. We're going to give it to our son here. Oh, I guess we can't give it to our son. Whoops. Okay. But we're now uh, at our uh, the main uh, size, so that's good. And we took over one of the holy sites. Now we control two out of the three. Um... There's a lot of different things here. Uh, we can really, you know, change it around. But, you know, we're not there yet. We still have to uh, get one more holy site. Which is actually kind of funny because there is a holy site, like, right there. Um, really close to us that we could take over. But at the same time, that's outside of our du jour uh, Tibet. And I'm not sure I want to do that. I mostly just want to stay in Tibet. But at the same time, it would be so excellent just to reform right away. Huh... I don't know. I don't know! <laughs> Reforming right away would be great, uh, although we don't have the moral authority at all to do that. Um, uh, we'll see. I, I don't know. Right now we're just googe. 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 
I don't wow. can't switch yet um, that's okay might take over these lines here this is part of the jour to bat I believe yes but if we just took this one land right there is that oh we can't we can't take it off right away we'd have to go for one of the other ones first here or here and then we'd have to wait for what is the uh know how many years but gosh that would be great to do that oh I can't decide I can't decide at all it's hard to choose really just want to start making let's see yeah that would be good to grab those though because that's Silk Road create and, and holding more of the Silk Road would be very nice um cuz holding that I think we are going to go to war against these guys. Yeah. Um, we'll take this and then go here. We might end up taking it all from them. I'm not sure. I know we said we weren't going to expand much outside of this, but just, you know, clean up borders somewhat. Um, let's get all of our troops together. Oh, we need a new designated regent. Alright, you're fine. Also need some commanders. Alright, it occurred to me that my wife is feeling somewhat gloomy as of late. The burden of her unborn child is surely causing some humoral unbalance that is affecting her mood. I will buy her something nice. We could do that. <sighs> yeah, we'll try that. I mean, I don't want to lose karma. I know that I said I'm going to try to follow our things, but, you know. It's his wife, so he... like. Yum was extremely happy about the presents I brought for her. Right after seeing me, she jumped into my arms and gave me a passionate kiss. It looks like my kind gesture has really struck her. Oh, they fall in love. That's good. Alright, we're going to take our troops here. And head and fight them down here. 
Unfortunately, though, we have run out of time. Um, I hope you enjoyed the first episode of this new series. I haven't come up with a name with it yet, but we will soon. Um, if you did enjoy, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel grow. And I will see you next time.